blatant attempt by the commissioners to bypass the will of the people. In November 2018, voters across the county passed a referendum for single member districts for electing county commissioners to have more direct representation and accountability from our elected officials. Now, out of fear of losing control, the commissioners and a handful of power brokers are gerrymandering the districts prior to the 2020 census and disenfranchising an entire community of Newtown in 2020 in the process. Organizations supporting this protest include Control Growth Now, the NAACP Sarasota Chapter, the Newtown Nation, the Sierra Club Manatee Sarasota Group, and a group of citizens, a new group of citizens called Citizens for District Power. If you want to be uh, informed about next steps for the people, um, please sign one of these clipboards as they go around and we will keep you informed about what we the people can do going forward. That's very important. Today we have four categories of speakers. First, from the communities most affected by the rigged redistricting. Second, from Professor Frank Alcock of New College. Third, statements from current and former elected officials and two candidates for county commission. And fourth, comments from former candidates who had to campaign countywide in previous elections. Thank you all for being here. And our first speaker is Edward James III. I will let the speakers introduce themselves as they would like to be uh, introduced. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today, we stand at a critical juncture in the history of Sarasota County. Today, we stand on the shoulders of the men and women who fought tirelessly for the ever so elusive concepts of equality and justice. Today, we stand here united to let the Sarasota County Commission know that the power of the people is stronger than the people in power. Yeah. Democracy, democracy works best when we citizens, just like all of us here, hold our elected officials accountable. No longer will we allow folks to treat my community like second-class citizens. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We have a voice and a platform, and we will fight like hell to ensure that the system is no longer rigged. Yes. Yes. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once so eloquently stated that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. So what does that mean? Well, thank you for asking. <laughs> that, that means that we say that redistricting ahead of the 2020 census is rigged. That means that delaying the vote of over 10,000 African Americans in Sarasota County is rigged. That means that delaying the vote for two years is rigged. That means that gerrymandering maps to dilute the black vote is rigged. That means blatantly violating the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution and the Voting Rights Act is rigged. What is it? Rigged! What is it? Rigged! What is it? Rigged! Rigged! So what shall we do, Ed? Unrigged. <laughs> A federal lawsuit has been filed, but we know that the process can be long. So what we will do is expand the electorate. We'll go into every nook and cranny and register people to vote. Yes. We know that elections have consequences, but there's power in numbers. We know that every vote counts. So I encourage you to team up with your neighbors, grab a clipboard, and help us go door to door to educate, engage, and register people to vote. Remember, we don't work for the folks up there in the Philippi Estates Mansion. They work for who? Us. They work for who? Us. And when they do not do the will of the people, the people have the power to fire them. Yes. Well-known abolitionist Frederick Douglass once so eloquently stated that there is no pros progress without struggle. So I ask all of you here, are you willing to struggle for fair districts? Yes. yes. Are you willing to struggle for equality and justice? Yes. Are you willing to struggle for the people? Yes. yes. Let's go out yes. there and win this thing. Thank you. Let's get it started. Good morning. Good morning. I'm 
Fred Atkins. Hey, Fred. Hey, Fred. I'm the mayor of the city of Sarasota, and I have become the face of this racist process. <laughs> the process that has been de devised to disenfranchise the African American community of Sarasota. But it also has become a process of disenfranchising the city of Sarasota and its citizens also. So this fight is much bigger than we think it is. And look how prophetic it is for us to be on a plantation at the mansion <laughs> where slavery and agriculture processes were being developed. Yeah. Why would they bring us here today? This is where they come to retreat. But there is no peace where there is no justice. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to make sure that there is some justice. Yeah. That's our responsibility as people, citizens of the city and the county of Sarasota. I invite you all to make sure that you don't let them rest. And don't let anybody fool you. All them cars over there are nobody but them and staff. There are very few citizens over there want to hear them pat themselves on the back about the successes they've had this year. Because the worst thing that they've done this year is disenfranchise the African American vote of Newtown and disenfranchise the vote of Sarasota County by gerrymandering all the people in a way that nobody is happy but the three people that's running for re-election. That's the problem here. This was all done to protect their power and to keep the power, bureaucracy, and wealthy people of this community controlling their strain. I have never seen people work so hard to remain a slave. They want to be controlled by the people that are telling them what to do the developer of this community, the people that continually have led us down the beaten path of wrong decision. I heard them sitting up in there this morning talking about how they have decided to treat wastewater sewage. I'm saying back in 1986 when I sat on the commission, we tried to get the county to join us in treating regionally all of the fluent wastewater in Sarasota County. Now we got a $400 million bill that they said, well, we are finally biting the bullet and doing it. We could have done this for $40 million 30 years ago, yeah. but those are the problems that we have with the county when developers dictate what we want to do. I welcome you all to this struggle, and may the struggle continue. There's no rest, no rest, no justice, no, no peace. peace. Thank you. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Thank you, and keep it going. Um, we have, I had a call last night from another potential candidate for county commission in District 1, or what used to be District 1, and his name is Frank DeChico. And he was a, a candidate that huh. ran against Mike Moran, who is now the current county commissioner who's trying to save his seat by every means possible. And he did pretty darn well for coming in late in the process. Well, guess what? With the current Jerry Bambert maps, he has now been, the map they have adopted cuts him out of oh. District 1. Oh. And you can't, you can't mistake it. Because if you look at the map, there's a funny little loop that goes up and cuts out the whole area in which he lives. He is ticked off, let me tell you. But like Fred, if they let this map go through, he's going to be totally out of it in, in, this, in this race. And that's a shame because he's a good candidate. He's a Republican candidate, and he could be a darn good challenger to, to, Mike, to Mike Moran, as Fred could be. We need some good people in there of all political parties able to run using single-member districts. And by the way, Brad, come on up here. If you want, stand up there with your, sing, your single-member district sign. By golly, Brad Harden is one of our tireless workers. We voted people of this county. Make sure people can see it. Stand. We voted. 60% of the people in this county voted for single member districts of all political parties because they know it's a way to give more accountability from our county commissioners. So just keep on standing on the side. they're trying to take it away. <laughs> okay, they're trying to take it away. You're absolutely right. Okay, so now we have, I'm delighted to say, a presentation from El Elvita, the new president of the Democratic Hispanic Caucus of this county. All I'm right. so glad you're here with some other friends from the Hispanic community. Good morning. Good morning. 
I'm here to represent the Hispanic community of the Sarasota County. And um, I am here because we are claiming the right to be represented fairly in the local elections. Um, I learned that the proposed redistricting will cut out 30% of the Hispanic population from the electoral map and 20% of the black population. This will disenfranchise and disempower our communities. Uh, and this is another way of dividing and, and, and excluding us from the, from the electoral map because it's the same way that the government is dividing the children and the parents in the border. Shame. It's the same way and we have to completely oppose it. We want yes. everybody to register to vote, everybody to be uh, aware of what's going on because one of the things is people who don't understand what this redistricting means right. and so they don't know. And so we have to get out and be vocal and have everybody uh, represented in a local, in a fair way. Thank you. Frank Alcock, a professor of New College. Frank, here you go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm uh, Frank Alcock, professor at New College. Uh, I have been engaged in this issue uh, uh, from the start. I was very, very pleased to hear uh, that you are willing uh, and ready to continue to struggle uh, and to fight to have uh, your voices heard uh, and to hold the county commission accountable. You're not done yet, are you? No! no. Neither are they. Yeah. Uh, and that's one of the things with my two minutes uh, that I'd like to draw your attention to. Uh, you Right now, we're trying to hold the county commission accountable through a federal court case. Um, I have hopes that we will get some relief through that channel, but whether or not that happens, what they did, especially by putting the Wechter map in, splitting the county completely different uh, in the northern part, carving out uh, Newtown and most of the Democratic precincts, putting them in uh, to District 2 in 2022. This only makes sense to me uh, if it is one act in a two or three act play. Yes. Uh, and that is most likely the second act. Nobody's talking about it yet, but I would not be surprised if they attempt to simply do away uh, with uh, single member districts, try to roll them back. They have the power to do that and they can do it quite late in the game. So don't be surprised uh, if we get into the spring or the summer and you find out that guess what's going back on the 2020 ballot, a measure to do away with all the hard work that you put in uh, in 2018 and you cannot let that happen. No, they, no, did no, no, no. they did it before, they did it before. Barring that, there could be a third act with another attempt to redistrict uh, after the census. So my, my message to you uh, is this is a long struggle. This is a long battle. Uh, if you want your voices to be heard and if you want to hold them accountable, uh, get ready. Um, one, one big battle uh, might have lost uh, another one through their brazenness, but don't think that their brazenness has any limits. Uh, they will likely come back and try to do away with single member districts. It's a threat to them. Uh, the only way that they can permanently be assured of keeping a lot of power, uh, they'll be comfortable with making sure that you don't have an opportunity to vote through this single member district mechanism. Shame. So shame. Um, shame on them, uh, but get ready for a long, long battle. Uh, it's it's going to continue to play out uh, this year and next year and the year after that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now we have some statements from current and former elected officials. Unfortunately, uh, several officials could not be with us, but Commissioner Shelley Freeland Eddy, the commissioner in the Sarasota City Commission, has been outspoken against this redistricting. Yes. And she's yeah. spoken at a number of the county commission meetings and the public hearing, and she um, unfortunately is on her way to Orlando to a meeting, but she, she gives her regrets that she can't be here and says, keep up the fight. This is so important. We all have to register to vote, get out and vote, pay attention, and hold these people accountable, and then elect good people who will represent the people. Now we also have a statement from Commissioner Jill Luke of Northport, and that is going to be read by Suzette Bryan. 
Our, one of our Sarasota Alliance for Fair Elections board members. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Jill is sorry she couldn't be here today. This is her statement. Government is to be we the people. We the people have spoken dozens of times and our voices have fallen upon ears that are bent on self-preservation and filled with self-serving actions. Ears that don't care what the voices of those they are elected to serve choose. The choice of redistricting was a childish tantrum in response to losing their position on the referendum for single member districts. Afraid of losing political power, they strove to reclaim what they imagined they were losing. Fear is a, is a motivation that brings with it deception, lies, and outright wrong actions. Fear. Yes. To operate in fear is to lose any sense of direction. We all know the actions this commission has taken are the opposite of what the voices of the people they serve have stated. Not once, but several times throughout their attempts at illusion and deception. We knew from the start, it was clearly stated in the first meeting, they would create the map themselves. Everything that was paid for and the energy to facilitate it were in vain. As the curtain falls at the end of their theatrical play, we find them using invalid counts and disenfranchising the very people they swore to serve. Yeah, that's it. This cannot be. We, the people, cannot stand for this type of service. I may not be able to be with you this day in the body, but please know that I am with you in spirit and stand with you in peaceful protest of how our voices have been ignored and our very form of government disregarded because of the fear, fear. of losing power. As we have heard throughout history, power to we the people. Yes. Blessings, Jill Luke. We the people. 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 Okay, we have now a statement from former mayor John Hollick, former mayor of Venice, who is now, by the way, a candidate for a county commission in District 3. Um, just filed recently. Um, I confess I was uh, unable, I did not reach the current commission in Venice fast enough and I could not get them here today. But the former mayor, John Hollick, has been outspoken um, about against redistricting. And this will be spoken by Pat Rounds and, should I say, who's, 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 who is very much involved in the new group yes. that I hope you will all become involved with called Citizens for District Power. Yeah. Right, Pat. Right. Thank you. From John Hollick. My comments about the redistricting actually start out with a more systemic problem with the county commission. Many times it seems as if the commission has a preconceived opinion on topics brought up for discussion, and they're not open to opinions contrary to their preconceived notions. Obviously, a vote on anything will affect some people positively and others negatively. Virtually no decision will produce a unanimous consent of all constituents, but no one is asking for that. What we ask, what we ask for, is to be listened to and to have our opinions weighed in the ultimate decision. This is not what happened with redistricting, not even close. Redistricting at the county level only needs to be considered every 10 years, one year after the national census. Rather than wait for accurate data for redistricting, the commission decided to redistrict now and hired a consultant. The consultant provided new maps with minor changes 
in an attempt at redistricting with inaccurate data. But that's not what the three commissioners wanted. Instead of picking one of the professionally drawn maps that would have created minimal disruption, the county pulled a map out of somewhere <laughs> drawn by a person arrested and convicted of dirty politics. The map ultimately selected is the worst Worst. Rather, worst. The worst. 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 This is John Hollick, Mayor John Hollick. The worst rather than the best of the alternatives. An easy argument could be made that the new map was gerrymandering for political purposes in districts one and three. But a more blatant and egregious flaw in the map selected is the disenfranchisement of an entire neighborhood in old district one. I falsely, this is John Hollick, I falsely thought that this type of activity ended in the 60s. Yeah. Nope. Mm -hmm. But was obviously wrong. wrong. It takes so many years to build a city, a county, a state, and a country in a positive, caring direction. And only a few years to tear all that down mm -hmm. to go backward. Those of us that care about our county and country cannot let that happen. No way. No Sincerely, way. John Hollick. All right. Thank you. And, and since John Hollick has, has just filed to run for county commission in District 3, I want to read a statement that was sent to me yesterday from another candidate in District 3. Good. And this is Corey Hutchinson, uh, who, by the way, at Hutchinson 2020, he says, used to be in the he lives in Northport, and he's yeah. now been, guess what, gerrymandered out to put him into the Venice district. How about oh. that? Uh -huh. yeah. So this is from Corey Hutchinson, candidate in District 3. I have stood against the county commission's redistricting effort from the moment it started. What the three commissioners have done is nothing short of deceitful, dishonorable, and morally reprehensible. Yeah. This goes further than just bad governance. It's a direct attempt to stifle the will of the voters of Sarasota County. Dang. I'm so proud of Fred Atkins, the Newtown community, and all who have stood up fiercely for the voting rights of others. Everyone has a right to participate in an election. That's what part of what makes America so special. Three county commissioners are trying to take that right away. Yes. It is my hope that justice will shine through and their efforts will be nullified. I'm excited for the 2020 election to be one that puts good people in place to make the best decisions possible for the residents of Sarasota County. The redistricting is a pathetic attempt to stifle the will of the voters, and I'm confident that our residents will see through it and make the best choices in November 2020. Thank you, and let's I keep fighting. Thanks, Corey. And Tom Matrullo, why don't you come up? And uh, we, we had a speaker who could not be with us. Nick Guy was a former candidate. But, but Tom Matrullo has been so active in preserving the celery fields and a new vision for Sarasota County. And, and I, I can't even say it all. So you, you tell me, tell us what else you've been doing. He's very shy. <laughs> I am not a candidate. Um, <clears throat> Okay, I, I know why I'm here, and I'll just share that very briefly with you. Um, and it goes back to 2015, when uh, a sitting commissioner uh, uh, was offered a position as the head of Argus Foundation, the, the primary business lobby in Sarasota County. And Christine Robinson chose to take that job while remaining a sitting commissioner. And we came out, a lot of us showed up, and we said, choose the government or the lobbying, but don't do both. And she couldn't restrain herself, and she stayed with both jobs until the end of her term. Yeah. Now, in 2017, the board was invited to uh, build or to approve a giant open-air dump next to the celery fields. As you know, we don't have to go over that. But um, the board just expected it to be approved. It went through the process. And um, we finally, because we got over 100 people out there talking to them, um, they, they changed one vote. But two commissioners who are sitting in that mansion today, Mr. Mayo and Mr. Moran, voted for Jim Gabbard's dump. Please. And we don't forget. Please. 
This year, there was a brilliant lawsuit from Suncoast Waterkeeper that informed the board that its wastewater facility was a wreck, was a rotten, leaking wastewater facility. And it was full of corroded pipes. All this wastewater was being treated so poorly that it was carrying nitrites six times the level approved by the state into our bodies of water. If you wonder where the red tide is, if you're wondering about the water out there, look to that. Well, when the board learned of this and was told it would have to spend $170 million to fix the problem, we heard those commissioners say, well, nobody told me. I didn't Lie. know. That's a lie. 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 Well, okay, if you didn't know, maybe you want to find out why you didn't know. Yeah. Like, how yes. about an investigation into who kept this important information from you? I mean, come on, guys. You can't have it both ways. Not know and then not want to know. If you don't want to know, then are you, like, representing us? No. Uh -huh. No. Or who? No. Right? Yeah. No. So, if the very people that we entrust for our public services, our public spaces, our public reputation, hold the people in contempt, which seems to be the case, then I think that's why I'm here today, and maybe that's why we're here today. Yes. 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 We can't just say, they don't listen to us, they don't care, they're out of touch. Well, it's time to tell them that while they might like to be out of touch with us, we want to be in touch with them. Yes. yes. At public hearings, at protests like today, and most crucially at the ballot box in November, that's the touch that will break the syndicate and make the way for officials who value honesty, integrity, and creative commitment to the public good. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, the lady with the wonderful shirt. Register, engage, win. Come you. on. Can you just st come on, stand down? I want people to see your shirt. Is that okay? Because that's exactly what we need to do. If everybody yeah, will sign that, this and go around in your communities, take, I can, if you email me, there you go. What's your name? Florence, Florence, Florence. Florence has got the right shirt on right there, okay? Register, engage, win. And that we need to reach out to people all over this county in every district and tell them the importance of following what's going on, register to vote, look at what's happening, follow the votes of the people that we've elected so far, that somebody's elected so far, okay, and, and, and get engaged and then get out and vote so we can elect good people. Thank you very much, Florence, and you can stand there if you want because everybody needs to know that. Okay. Here we go. Back up, Florence. Now, now, actually. There you go. There you go. Okay. So, actually, um, Rudo. Now we have candidates uh, comments from former candidates in countywide elections because this is very important. And come on up, Ruta Juniari. And I thank you so much for your outstanding efforts. Oh, okay. 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 So Sarasota residents, are you outraged? I am. Yes. yes! Today in this solemn day when the judiciary before the House went and voted for an impeachment of our president based on obstruction of justice and abuse of power, we here in Sarasota are witnessing the same with our county commissioners. Yeah, it's an abuse of power, and it's also an obstruction to the voters, and it's voter suppression. Whether you're black, Muslim, Hispanic, Catholic, white, Republican, independent, our votes have been suppressed by this county commission. We have to unite. We have to speak to all our neighbors. I, if, even if they have a Trump flag flying, please go talk to them. Engage. Say, listen, do you understand that none of us are being heard? You're not being heard. 60% of the citizens voted for single-member districts. And as Professor Alcock said, look to the future because very soon this commission, after the census, chances will go back to full member districts to go all across the county again. They're going to flip. Anytime they don't like what the results will be, they will flip. So if, unless we keep pressure up as we're doing today, yeah. they will continue to do this. So what do you have to do? 
fight. fight. Have your neighbors fight. 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 Take fight. everyone you know and fight, fight. until fight. this commission realizes that we, the people, hold the power in this community. Thank you. Thank you.